fight with somebody and I punched them and they fell down, I would not then stomp their head mm. until they're dead or in a coma in the hospital or some shit like that. I, I, but that seems to be what's going on. Well, let me just make, can I just make a distinction, though? Please. As far as where this conversation came from. Yeah. Louis Gates Jr. being arrested and getting cranky about it. Oh, right. <laughs> and, the, and that coming from his personal history being a painful one in America, understandably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And rising above it, by the way, and become not, he's not, he didn't respond to it by being a black on black violentor. No, he, he responded to it by elevating himself self, and right. running the greatest black studies, the greatest program, universe, by the way. which, which, by the way, it's revisionist history a lot of Jesus. times, and it's a an he's the president of Harvard, ingrained um, at he did least it, he looked, he trust of white people, if not a genuine dislike of white people. Well, sure, again, no and again, again, that's Fifty Cent, really. Uh, oh, yeah, that's that really, really did. Yeah. Yeah. See, and, and, and by the way, this is interesting because then here's this other one, is. You're definitely colored, so to speak, <laughs> by colored. the fellow who asked you for 50 cent. That yes. was a fear that was put into you that you'll never forget. And I totally Could and I, res him. I respect and understand that. Yeah, that's going to mean that you're going to see these all these stories differently. When you hear about when you see uh, Barack Obama saying they acted stupidly, it just is a beeline in a, a synopsis firing path in your brain mm -hmm. that goes right to that guy asking you for 50 cent anytime if, 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 and that's going to that's that's deeply ingrained in you but and that's if 50 understandable cent was the last time i ever saw when Lewis gates bad. jr sees a cop with his hand on on the gun on the butt of the gun saying yeah. uh sir i need you to step away from your own fucking house <laughs> He just remembers, he remembers whites only fucking signs and all that stuff, and it drives him crazy. And so that's just, everybody brings their own thing to it. I think, I mean, that's, I, I, I personally think that America is working remarkably well considering all that, it's considering all the wreckage I, of the history. I it actually works pretty well. There is, no. The it's, fact that, look, by people in fucking Iowa voted for Barack Obama, that means that, you know, we're, whether or not he ends up being a great president, I think it's, we're do, we're it's we're coming out on top of this shit, but it's complicated. No, the, it's just a messy the other family. Day, let, let me. No, I I disagree. My, fa my father my father came and stayed with me for for a week. Well, two. It felt like a week. It was two days. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my dad, I have such a fucked up history with my dad, um, but I got through it. I got through these two days. I was like, hey, you know what? We, we made can, it. We can do this. Like he's seventy-two now. I don't know how long he's got left. I'm not sure. You know what? How he's making it? You know, he's had a tough life. Yeah. And uh, and so I got through the two days, but there were moments during those two days where he just did certain had said little things that I was I almost fucking hit him in the face. Oh, I almost holy shit. I almost had to call nine one one and go hi. Listen, I just killed my dad and I need someone to come just over take here. Take care of my kids I, for I, me, please. Please. <laughs> You know, I like his take on that whole. No, it's, I, but I, it's one. It's one, I, but I like it. It's different. and I'm not it's saying different. that there's. An, here's the thing. I say it's understandable that certain older black people have an edge on them because yeah. of history. But and then you take it to uh, that it's an excuse for black, for for violence and murder. Well, but it's not. But I'm not thinking of that. And I, and I do. But but you're and again, it's just really fascinating that that's your perspective because of what's going no, on with no, you in your life. It's not just my perspective on that. It, it, it that's kind of simplistic because I gave you one example of, of yeah. something that happened, and then it's the I, only one that matters. But but, but, but it is <laughs> the only one. It's the your one first, you right. If that first was, moment with a black man. If that was the only knowledge I'd had of that. Uh, it would have been a forgotten memory, but it's reinforced constantly by just this this unbelievable, yeah, you know, like when you buy outlandish uh, uh, unbalance in violent crime. And Although informed, it. all of it has been informed by the first experience you had. And I'm not saying this is a flaw. This but is how so, everybody. So I'm is. watching. Uh, a, a black man you're collecting, pummeling a, an old white woman and for her money on on a video surveillance camera, yeah. and it's because of Fifty Cent that you, I look at that. I should look at him like a gentleman. You no, know, and of then course, what the fuck of am course I, not. What but does you're, Fifty Cent have to do with that? You started a collect. That? You started a collection that began with Fifty Cent. But I can't. I'm not collecting. I'm being given this. Right. People are are throwing this at me as I see. From from uh, uh, surveillance videos, you're, you're being you're, you're being thrown a lot. 
You're being thrown. Yes. By the way, Louis Gates Jr., I think from from what I know and I was there. <laughs> I'm just going to keep adding to the mess. You were there. I'm just going to keep just adding to the fucking there. mess. I was there. I am Louis Gates Jr. <laughs> I knew it. And when I saw that cop, no, he acted uh, wrongly. No matter what. Look, I got pulled over by a cop recently, and I was with my kids. This cop was a dick. Okay. And he was a young man. That's the thing. The, uh, that's the other thing that's like every everything in your life adds to what's happening in your moment. The cop in that in this story was a young man. When you get older and you get pulled over by a 22-year-old who likes having a gun, it just bothers you. It just bothers you. The person See, it like, shouldn't. No, it should. It shouldn't. No, it shouldn't. It is it absolutely right. It bothers all of us, though. That's, I, that's when I got pulled I over made. by when I got pulled over by this cop recently, I had my kids in the car, and he doesn't. I know he doesn't have kids, and I don't think he, you know. There's certain people where they have a kid radar, like they just have a sense of there's kids here. Yeah, that changes how you act. And some people are like, no, they don't. They and then later they'll have kids and look back and go, oh, geez, I, uh, you know, she have identification on her. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He She's comes great. up to my fucking car. Two cops. I passed a guy. A guy was drifting into the left turn lane close to an intersection. You don't have to make it sound good so, for me. Larry. So I assume <laughs> I that he's going to make a left, so I move to the right of him, pass yeah. him on the right, and yeah. then he changes his mind and goes into a gas station. Oh, shit. On the right. Mm -hmm. So I get pulled over by two state troopers, like they needed two fucking cars, and they come to each side, and they both have their fucking hands. You know, there's the hand on the gun thing is important, but some guys do it you know, civilly, and some guys, these guys looked fucking hostile, and my kids looked Daytime scared. Daytime or nighttime? Daytime, okay. middle of the day, could, fucking could morning, nine in the morning. Could they see you? Well, yeah, I'm very white. I'm driving an Infinity, and it doesn't have spinning rims. There's no loud music. I, so my, so I am, kids are scared. I'm a balding white man. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. And my kids are like, but daddy, you're white. <laughs> so <laughs> the cop comes over and he goes, uh, you, you, you know, you know, you know what you did. And I go, uh, well, I'm not sure, honestly. <laughs> you pass somebody on the right. And, and, and I go, oh, well, I thought he was going, ah, 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 like he did that. Ah, ah. He had his blinker on. And I go, you know what, sir? I didn't see the blinker, but I, I assume you're probably right. I probably just had exercised some bad judgment. Like, I'm just trying to get to the fucking ticket. Right, get to the point. What's with that inspection sticker? How come the hole isn't punched? I don't know. What? I didn't. I went to a gas station and got an inspection. Yeah, you're supposed to have the whole punch. I go, I'm was I supposed to punch it in my actual <laughs> it's it just he's it, yeah, and he, and he goes uh, he reaches in the and rips my he goes, This is coming with me and rips my inspection stick. Are you off, shitting which me? Which is putting me now in like I gotta drive around without a sticker till I get uh, one. That guy's a fucking asshole. He's he's yeah. being an asshole. Right. But I still recognize that my role is respect the law. Get past the get the paperwork from him. Yes, sir. Get the paperwork. And it looks like you got a headlight fight out, boy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I guess I shouldn't have had the headlight out, officer. I'm collecting information. I'm getting my paperwork. I'm gonna go to court and I'm gonna fight it, and I won't pay for these tickets. Yeah, absolutely. It's, but I'm driving around meanwhile. I got to worry about getting pulled over all the time because nobody has inspection stations upstate because the economy is shit, yeah. and nobody. You go to a gas station, they go, we don't do inspections. Off your inspection. Rift it off. What a prick. Didn't wait for me to explain anything to him no. or whatever. Just fucking. No, that's, that's just a cock. But still, it, my role is to act respectful to police, and I'm sure yeah. that. So I think that Louis Gates acted. It's wrong to just start yelling. You don't, just don't get to do that. Even if you yeah. are in your own house, even if you're being arrested for doing nothing, even if you're being totally. No, he was right. It's not fair. <laughs> but no, no, but. <laughs> Uh, but I understand it. That's all. I understand. I I, I empathize with. He was being with extremely the belligerent to an officer who was, um, from what they say, and from certain radio transmissions, <laughs> yeah, that was being uh, as polite as possible to this gentleman answering a call to a burglary in progress. He gets there, uh, and then he's accused of being a racist. And then uh, the professor starts talking about his mama. And shit like that. Yeah, but here's the other thing, too, though. It's like there's so many parts of this that are, like, part of the – this is such a I, – I think these kinds of things are always good. I think this is a positive thing because yeah. it's a conversation the whole country has. And talking about this kind of thing See, this is, is what pure I was positive. Say, I think I was, it's all good. I was going to say this before. I don't think it is because I think it shows just how 
close to the surface, all this shit is bubbling. Of course, and how it is. it's just this fine veneer of yeah, but talking is, is better. Than, but it can't hurt to talk. About talking it. is better than bubbling, and I think that it's important for people to know what it's like to be a guy like Louis Gates and what it's like to be like this cop and and go into the morass of racism every time you answer any kind of a call. Mm. Must be very frustrating. But I always also think about Americans, fucking entitled, rich, white, gun-owning Americans who just hey. this castle, fucking house is your castle. Yes, well, you're explaining. Yeah, you're yeah you are completely. It. Yes, your house is your castle. That's right. Anyone walks in, steps on the lawn, you can Kablam! shoot them in the fucking mouth. Exactly. Kablamo! So in that context, a guy coming into your house and saying anything untoward, you're like, fuck you, you fucking racist, fucking faggot cop. Get you fuck your mother in the ass, you little faggot racist. Get off my fucking property. I'm the president of Harvard, you fucking little Irish Bo South Boston prick. F go shove it in your mother's cunt. I don't care if you fucking brought that a basketball player back to life. Fuck yeah. you. <laughs> I don't. I'm fucking Louis Gate. I'm calling Brock right now. He's on my fucking speed dial, you <laughs> motherfucker. I get it. I get that. Yeah. I think if you were black, that's what you would say to a cop if he came in your property, or you'd just shoot him. No, I would uh, I would be uh, very cordial. Mm. I would be the um, pull myself up by my bootstraps kind of a guy. And, uh, <laughs> that's and, right. And but succeed. that's what he was. He's like, I pulled myself up by my bootstraps, and I still nah, I, I still get more... fucking arrested for for having a jammed door. It's from Louis Gates' <laughs> Junior's point of view, it's a complete outrage.